microphone. We want you in the microphone uh, so others can hear. Uh, it looks like Lee's already coming out of the seat a little bit, so we'll see if Lee wants to start us. Lee? <laughs> Just like a good, just like a good thoroughbred, when the race is ready, I get in the gate and get ready to go. No, um, I just uh, I was doing my reading this morning, and I read something that uh, um, I, I really had to spend a lot of not a lot of time to think, but um, I, I was very grateful for, because I come from a family, and I know my mom, or not my mom, uh, my dad and my sister. Um, they don't they don't have a relationship with Christ. They believe there's a God, but they don't have a relationship with Christ. And I was there once. I understood that this world was made by God, but I was reading this morning, and uh, is in First uh, John chapter 2, verse 23. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. And he that acknowledged the Son hath the Father also. And I just... When I read that, I, I think a lot of Elaine. She said she never denies that chance to get up and thank Christ. Listen to, to Kevin's prayer this morning um, was a lot of the same. And I just it, it struck enough in me, I had to put that out there on Facebook so that people would know that you might believe in a God, but if you don't know Christ, you don't know the one and true God, and you don't have God in your life. So. We can use uh, Facebook and those other means to get the glory of the Lord out, can't we? Praise the Lord for it. Um, anybody else like to come and share uh, a testimony this morning? Anybody? Elaine's coming up. Elaine. Last Sunday meant a great deal to me, um, having had Jesus Christ as my Savior for many years, uh, to move halfway across the country. I'm from South Carolina. I know where Chattanooga is. <laughs> to um, a little spot, not much bigger than where I came from, and to find a family, a ready-made family for me. Um, I just praise God. I praise God every day for my family here. Um, and you all know the story. It didn't take long to find it. But when God has a plan for your life, and every day I gotta tell you, I beg Him to make me surrender. Uh, you don't think it's hard to surrender until day-to-day -day living kind of catches up and you get swept up in the day-to-day. -day. But I pray that I surrender to everything God wants me to do, where He wants me to be. So it was very special to be able to be a part of this family, and I thank you so much. And a little bit on what Lee said, I, while I was getting ready this morning, the TV was on, and I kind of got bits and pieces of what the pastor was saying, but. He, he kept on and on and on about there's a lot of people who know about God. There's a lot of people that believe in God. I know about God. I believe in God. But God is my, Jesus is my Savior. I live in Him. I don't know just about Him. I live in Him, and He lives within me. And there's a difference. How many in here know about the devil and believe in him? We all do, but we don't live for him, and he doesn't live in us. So I loved what you said, Lee. Thank you. Anybody else? The Lord working on your heart? Uh, you want to share a testimony this morning? Um, we want you to be able to come forward and do that. Anybody? We won't twist your arm, right? The Holy Spirit's got to get a hold of you and move you on up to, to be able to do that. Um, if we don't have any others now, we're, we'll provide opportunity again tonight in our evening service if the Lord 
put something on your heart then. Uh, Brother Kurt, 